it. Hello everyone. And now, so we just got the trailer for Mortal Kombat 12 or Mortal Kombat 1 as it's called. And I'm, I, I don't really know how to feel about it. Like overall, the trailer looked okay. Like it didn't look bad. But like, honestly, I don't really like that it's called Mortal Kombat 1. Like it, it, it just, I don't like that title to me. It's just confusing because it's like, this is Mortal Kombat 12. But it's Mortal Kombat, but it's called Mortal Kombat One because like they're rebooting the entire game, like franchise again. And like I, I was fine with them like you know doing the time travel and like restarting everything with MK Nine, but like them doing it again, I'm not really that big of a fan of. And like, but I I want to talk about what I liked first, and then I'll talk about why I didn't like. Uh. So the trailer overall just didn't look bad. It, it, the trailer, uh, the trailer looked pretty good. The fatalities they showed in the trailer, they, they were gory. They they were very gory, and if that's what some of the fatalities are in the game, that's that's pretty exciting. Like I, I think that would be like really cool fatalities. Some of the uh, like character designs in the trailer, I actually uh, liked. Like I, I think uh, Katana, like I think she looked cool. Uh, Sang Song, uh, Sang Song, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, he, he, he looks kind of cool. He, he kind of looks like uh, the aftermath uh, version of him from like M MK11, and like Liu Kang looks okay, I guess. Like I, I, I was never really a fan of the Fire God Liu Kang. Like I, I wasn't really a fan of how he looked. And all that, but like overall, it looked okay. I I didn't really have an issue with it, but I I will say one one. I'm not super excited about it. like you know I'm not freaking out. Be like oh my god, MK12 is coming out because dude, we all know it's gonna be MK12. Like we all know it's MK12, even though it's called M Mortal Kombat One. No one's gonna call it Mortal Kombat One. Everyone's gonna call it this is MK12. But like he. Like, I'm not figuring out about it, mainly just because MK11 sucked, in my opinion. It, like, that MK11 was not good. It was not fun. The story of it was terrible. It was filled with, like, wokeness and a whole bunch of bullshit that, like, I, I'm not really too excited about, like, MK12 because I'm, like, mainly just because how bad MK11 was, in my opinion. And it's like, yeah, okay, I'm not, like, I, I like, I, I'm... I might get it, I might play it, but I'm not too excited for it, like, I'm not freaking out for it, I'm not like, oh, I need to buy it now, I'm honestly just like, eh, like, if, you know, if I want to, like, really want to, I will get it, but I'm not freaking out about it. Also, like, uh, in the trailer, it seems like Luke King is gonna be the mentor to Raiden, the human Raiden, and Kung Lao. Which, how long before they kill Kung Lao again? Because that's literally all they do with Kung Lao. Is kill him over and over and over again. But. Like, I, I, I don't I don't really like that. Because I like Raiden being a Thunder God. I, I don't. Human Raiden, I don't like how he looks. I think he looks awful as a human. I like him being a Thunder God. I like him having, uh, like, those powers. Because to, to me, that's Raiden. Ra Raiden is not. To, to me, Raiden is a god. He's not just some normal human and all that. And, like, I, I know, you know, MK11, you know, established that, you know, they combined. So, Liu Kang and Raiden. Like, Ra Raiden is still technically because he's a part of Liu Kang. But that was stupid as well. And I wish that they just ignored that. Like, it, I, I would have been fine with them just rebooting the entire game. Just don't make Liu Kang the... Like, Fire God, just make him be Liu Kang and make Raiden be the Thunder God again. And I know I'm just asking for MK9, but... But yeah, I, I honestly wonder how long before they kill Kung Lao in the game. Because that, that's all they do. But, like, I'm not super excited about it. Uh, it, it looked cool, but... Like, MK11... MK11, I really hated. I, I really did not like that game. I hated the story. The gameplay was not fun. Uh, the art style was not good. I did not. I did not like that they got rid of the X-rays and instead just like got the fatal blows. 
that they they were just to to me they were so over the top for no reason. Like and like not not in a good way. Like they they weren't like the X rays where like they they were cool and they added like a like feeling of yeah I'm doing like extra damage. Meanwhile, the fatal blows in MK11, it was just like, hey, here's more blood to like show in front of your face, like to show in front of your face because that's what you're here for, right? And I'm like, that that's not like j- just having more blood isn't really cool. Like, like you, you kind of have to add kind of more stuff to it. Well, I mean, yeah, you gotta do it a certain way. I feel like that. I feel like the previous games did a lot better than MK11. Like, I feel like MK11 just went over like overblow with the amount of blood that they showed but like also just with the wokeness and like like you know i i know they literally made shao Kahn donald trump which i i still hate that they did that they made shiva just become a uh feminist being like men are like uh, men are weak men are worthless men are the like, weaker sex and just like okay shut up like I, i'm not listening to this and then like the stories the the story either be the main story or the aftermath story both of them sucked the main villain sucked and honestly i'm still kind of pissed off that they kind of ruined any potential with the revenants like with, with the remnants and like I, I i'm just sorry like I, i'm sorry like i i know i know a lot of people hated the revenants but i i like them i like them in mkx and to me they had potential you know they had potential in Mortal Kombat X. And then MK11 destroyed them. They It destroyed any potential the Revenants had. For you know for being like awesome villains. And all that. And in fact, frankly I would have just preferred if. You know rather than Kronika being the main villain in MK11. If they were actually the villain. Like if Liu Kang and. Re- if Revenant, Liu Kang and Katana were the main villains. That would have been cool. That would have been cool. And, you know, I actually make them a threat. Like, I, I know a big thing with Neverrealm is, you know, they, they never give their villains a win. They never, uh, like, you know, the, their villains don't seem strong at all. And I, I feel like Aftermath was a big correction over that because they were like, okay, you want villains to win? Okay. And then the and then all of a sudden, you know, the heroes can't win at all and can't do anything. And the villains just, like, destroy everyone. So it's just like, you, you guys do a terrible job at, like, balancing out and all that. But... Yeah, I, I, I hated what they did to Revenants and adding Chronica in, but honestly, I would be totally fine if MK12 uh, or Mortal Kombat 1 didn't have a story mode, because frankly, in my opinion, fighting games shouldn't have story modes. They, they shouldn't. I, I know some people like them, but for me, no matter what game it is, whether it be like Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter or like Soul Calibur, I, I just don't like fighting games with story modes and you know not saying that, that every story mode is bad like the story mode in injustice gods among us or injustice 2 i think are perfect i think i like i love those story li- storylines but i still i i don't really like having story modes in fighting games i don't know but that that was my opinion about the trailer and honestly kind of just just where mortal kombat is now and Again, I don't know if I'm going to buy it. I might buy it when it comes out, but like, I'm not really ex- super excited about it. I'm not really expecting it to be a great game, but who knows? The game isn't out yet. All we've seen, like we haven't even seen any gameplay yet. We just we have just seen a like trailer, like a teaser trailer. So who knows? It might be a great game. It might be terrible. We don't know yet.